And it's like a friendly atmosphere. Everyone gets along, and pretty much everyone in every class we have a lot of other classes with. So we're all friends, and everyone knows each other. The promo program classes require a lot more preparation, but not as much work when you're actually teaching the class. But you do really have to get um, together the type of material, a broad range of material, um, enough material that you're going to challenge the students in a lot of different ways. Oh, it's a great atmosphere. You know, um, you get to know the teachers really well. You get to know your fellow students really well. Um, it, you, we call it an IB family, and that you really do become it. You get to, like, with your teachers, if you have a problem, you can go up to them without feeling awkward at all. So they're going to learn a whole breadth of knowledge instead of just depth. And that's the way the IB program is. It's, it's really focused on well-rounded, knowledgeable citizens instead of just individual, idea-specific students. I like it. It's pretty um, free. You get a lot of freedom to choose whether you're going to do your work or not. And um, you get a lot of time to interact with your friends, but you're still doing your work. Um, Unlike what I've been told, when you actually get to class, the teachers are willing to help you. And IB, it's, it may be hard, but you also have the help to go with it. Which B, what have you taken? Where's your stand? Teacher involvement is pretty much to be a mediator, to be a listener, to be an advisor. The diploma program, if you have to remember, is a two-year course. Most of our classes are smaller, and they know each other very well, so there's a lot of um, interaction going on, there may be a lot of kidding going on. These are students who have studied at night together, they're on the telephone, they're in most of their same classes together. So the atmosphere is one of electricity. We have a smaller class size and we get to know each other very well. We get accustomed to the way each person learns and the way each person thinks and it adds kind of like a color to the way our classroom is run. You get a better understanding of like the world around you and you get to learn, you make your own decisions and you learn to judge things your way before like hearing it from somebody else. Um, like in a lot of our English classes, in our TOK class, you learn to analyze it from your perspective, not necessarily the teachers. The teacher will tell you, I might be wrong, tell me what you think or explain how you feel. So you develop your own sense of yourself and you build your own interpretations and ideas. The biggest thing that I could tell um, has been the whole self-discovery type deal, where you are uh, learning from your own mind, not just so much from what a teacher tells you, that you get to experience it firsthand. You get to do lab in your science classes, you get to read the books and make discussions by your own. Um, you get to sit in a TOK class and think about, you know, why do we think what we think, which is a lot different than being told everything by a teacher. Thursday before because April Hopefully they learn some um, skills to help make them lifelong learners, that everything doesn't have to come from the teacher, that they can think for themselves. Depending on the project or the classroom assignment, we do work in pairs quite a bit because it allows us to see things from different people's perspectives. We're a lot closer bunch. We uh, form tight friendships between each other, so then we have study groups together, and then our teachers also come to those study groups because we're so close niche and everything like that. So it makes it easier to enjoy the classes with each other when you know everyone in your class. I'm in a physics class right now, and I be physics, and what one of me and my friends do is we'll get on the Xbox, but we won't play games on it, we'll just put the headset on, and we'll go through all our physics stuff like night or two before the test, go over everything and make sure we can help each other with anything we don't know. And so it's basically a team effort. If you're smart, great. If you know all this, great. But it's about the amount of work that you're willing to put into it. Because IB is not something that even the kids that are used to getting A's, it's not a program that you can just say, oh yeah, this is going to be a breeze. And in the diploma program, you have certain topics that you're, you're delving into in a lot more depth. Um, in a typical U.S. history class, you wouldn't be comparing the United States with a lot of other countries in its region. Um, and in this class, you are trying to compare the United States and their philosophy and their action versus other countries and their interaction. So it's a lot more of a global perspective rather than this egocentric American perspective. And so you try to kind of broaden the perspective of students so that it's not just about the world that they live in, you know, the immediate world, but it's about the global community. It's almost like a family bond, I guess you could say. Um, you get to know everybody really well, and I mean, I think it helps me with my school work because, you know, I can, if I have an idea of something, I can go to another person, they might have the same idea as me. 
they get a head up when they get to college. So because they're in the diploma program, they're very well prepared for college. Every student that has come back to see me after being in college has said college is now a breeze. They can whip out papers, no problem. They're making hundreds on their final exams in biology because they took this class for two years. So it, it helps prepare them for college. If nothing else, they're well prepared for college and they're successful college freshmen, which is, you know, very hard to come by. Colleges love like the IB program, like, and that really helps like you stand out. And I think that's really good. Anybody who wants to kind of get a jump start for college should definitely do the IB program. My experience with IB has helped me not just um, with my college experience, but in in my personal life and in just um, the goals that I've set for myself and how I've been able to grow personally and challenge myself, um, not just on an academic level, but on a personal level, I feel like it does a lot um, just to grow you. And uh, you know, that's something that stays with you even outside of the academic realm. And that's something that carries, that you carry along with you, you know, throughout the rest of your life even.